Could our next ice age be closer than expected? According to some scientists, the answer is yes. And their reasoning of this has a lot to do with the Gulf Stream. Well, it's more about the AMOC or the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Current, but you could argue that's fueled by the Gulf Stream. Before we get started, I wanna let you know that I'm not too worried about entering another ice age. I mean, we're technically still in an ice age. You see, we're in an interglacial period, which is a warm phase within an ice age. An ice age is defined by a time when permanent ice sheets exist at at least one of the poles, and well, they exist at both currently. But these scientists and articles are not referring to the interglacial period. They're referring to a deep freeze that they think could happen within the next 30 to 100 years. We're gonna dive into these articles to see what these scientists are seeing and what they're talking about. We'll first start right here. This article was published yesterday on downtoearth.org titled, Another Ice Age, Iceland Declares Potential AMOC Collapse as an Existential Threat. Iceland has designated the possible collapse of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, as a threat to national security and an existential threat, reported the news agency Reuters. AMOC brings warmer waters from the tropical regions towards the Arctic region and makes the winter milder. AMOC is one of the climate tipping elements of Earth's climate system, which means beyond a certain threshold or a tipping point, the changes happening within the system may become irreversible and lead to its complete collapse. This type of stuff has happened before in Earth's history, even before humans existed. There are arguments out there on if humans are speeding up certain processes like this or affecting it or not, but I'm not here to talk about that today. I'm just here to talk about what some scientists are seeing. According to the latest estimates from climate scientists, AMOC has already started weakening because of accelerated melting of ice sheets in Greenland and could possibly collapse at any time in the near to far future in the 21st century or beyond. The complete collapse of AMOC could herald a modern day ice age in Northern Europe with severe cold temperatures, ice and snow. The last AMOC collapse was before the last ice age, just after which humans started agriculture and civilization as we know it today. Just so you guys have a visual of what the AMOC is, these are the warm waters of the tropics. They move through the Caribbean, through the Gulf, and then up the North American coast, and then eventually they circle back down towards the tropics. Some of this warm water also gets transferred up here towards Western Europe, helping to prevent ice and Arctic air from taking over Europe currently. What some of these scientists are suggesting is that because of all the fresh water pouring into the North Atlantic, driven by glacier melt, that fresh water is going to reduce the saltiness up here in the subpolar North Atlantic, making the water in this region less dense and less able to sink. This would put a sort of of freshwater lid on the surface of the ocean, preventing the warm salty water from sinking and cooling beneath it. If this water can't sink, the AMOX engine is shut off. This would cause weather patterns across the globe to change drastically. We're talking about Europe becoming much cooler, sea levels rising along the US coast, and the potential for much stronger storm systems around the globe. There are some scientists calling out these studies. In the study, the team assumed that the global greenhouse gas emissions would continue to rise as they have been since the Industrial Revolution. They based their analysis on sea surface temperatures in a specific area of the North Atlantic from 1870 to present. This data suggested how strong the AMOC had been during this time, since direct measurements of the system's strength began only 15 years ago. Yet, sea surface temperatures in this area are not a clear indicator of the state of the AMOC. That's Penny Holiday, head of marine physics and ocean circulation at the National Oceanography Center in England. So she's probably qualified. A collapse of the AMOC would profoundly impact every person on earth, but this study overstates the certainty and likelihood of it taking place within the next few years. As always in science, a single study provides limited evidence. But when multiple approaches lead to similar conclusions, this must be taken very seriously, especially when we're talking about a risk that we really want to rule out with 99.9% .9 certainty. Here's a publication I found on Fizz.org by Alex Morrison, dated March 1st, 2025. AMOC unlikely to collapse this century despite climate change pressures, model suggests. There's some interesting stuff here, but before I get to this, I wanna talk about something. It doesn't matter whether you believe in global warming or don't believe in it. It doesn't matter whether you believe in climate change or don't believe in it. In an interglacial period, which is the period we're in, the earth is warming. It's a natural cycle. We've had about five major ice ages in our past, and we've had about 11 interglacial periods, all before humans even existed. So whether you believe in global warming or climate change, you don't have to believe in it. The earth is warming right now because that's its natural process. I say that because I want people on both sides of the climate change argument to understand you can both believe in this science and find it interesting. Because although this science could be influenced by climate change, this stuff could also be happening in a natural 
single way. The Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC, a major transporter of heat to the North Atlantic and Northwestern Europe, is unlikely to collapse this century, according to new research. The paper, published in the journal Nature, was led by a team of scientists from the Met Office and the University of Exeter. He said, the AMOC was a crucial role in regulating our climate. Without it, Northwest Europe's temperatures would be much cooler. Our modeling study suggests the AMOC will resist pressure from rising global temperatures and inputs of fresh water into the North Atlantic, with the weakened system being largely driven by winds over the Southern Ocean. Although our study shows the collapse over the next 75 years is unlikely, the AMOC is very likely to weaken, which will present climate challenges for Europe and beyond. In another article posted by the AP, it reads, scientists at the United Kingdom's Met Office and the University of Exeter used simulations from 34 different computer models of extreme climate change scenarios to see if the AMOC would collapse this century, according to a study in Wednesday's journal Nature. No simulation showed a total shutoff before 2100, said lead author Jonathan Baker, an oceanographer at the Met Office. Lastly, I wanted to read you an article published this year by NOAA or the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, titled Advancing Our Understanding of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC. A recent study by scientists at AOML found that extensive weakening of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation occurred in the 2000s, but has paused since the early 2010s due to a tug of war between the natural and anthropogenic signals. The AMOC is the Atlantic component of the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt, a large-scale ocean circulation system that carries heat, salt, carbon, and other biogeochemical elements along its paths. Thus, the AMOC is a crucial component of the global heat, salt, nutrients, and carbon balances in the ocean, which affects regional climate, sea level, and marine ecosystems. The current state-of-the-art climate models suggest that the anthropogenic weakening of the AMOC has been happening since the mid-1980s. However, direct observational records for the past two decades have shown remarkable resilience of the AMOC. To investigate this contradiction, scientists analyzed multiple climate and ocean model simulations together with direct observational data. They found that an extensive weakening of the AMOC occurred in the 2000s, which was primarily driven by the anthropogenic forcing. However, since the early 2010s, the natural component of the AMOC has greatly strengthened due to the development of a strong positive North Atlantic oscillation. And if you've watched my other videos, I talk about this, the NAO, it's one of our teleconnections. The enhanced natural AMOC signal cancels out the anthropogenic weakening signal, leading to a near stalling of the AMOC weakening. Another study found that despite there being no apparent weakening of the overall AMOC transport, the abyssal near the seafloor, limb of the AMOC in the North Atlantic has weakened over the past two decades, contributing to an increase in deep sea heat content and hence sea level rise in the region. So as you can see from this article from NOAA, they're saying hold the brakes on the collapse of the AMOC. And this is the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration we're talking about. This is kind of their wheelhouse. So are we about to plunge into another ice age? Probably not. But could the AMOC have some problems in the not so distant future? Maybe. In my opinion, that's likely to be a few hundred years away though. Isn't it kind of interesting though to hear about the Earth potentially cooling after all of this talk of the Earth warming? Our climate is complex. What can I tell you? I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I post videos like this every single day. Usually they come with the forecast and outlook, but I just wanted to cover this topic because I found it interesting. I also typically live stream every single morning as well. If you want to join the best weather community out there, there's a link to my Discord right down in the description. And you can meet a ton of weather enthusiasts and become a part of the climate crew. Again, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you in the next video or the next live stream.